I long to hear. Come with us on a windblown adventure into the past aboard the square topsail clipper schooner Shenandoah. The Shenandoah, like her designer and captain Robert Douglas, will catch you up in a time warp and take you back to the golden age of sand when men rode horses and ships rode the wind. Designed after the great clipper ships of the 19th century, which reigned supreme as they roamed the waters of the world, Shenandoah is a 21st century anachronism. True to her heritage, Shenandoah exists in a world where meals are cooked on a coal stove, dinners are eaten by kerosene lanterns, water is pumped, anchors are raised, and sails are set all by hand. A time when sailors' fates could be determined by the wind and the tide. For Shenandoah is the only square topsail clipper schooner sailing with no auxiliary power. Only the wind and her authentic canvas sails and the flow of the tides allow Captain Douglas to navigate this beautiful 110-foot time machine around the waters of New England. This is my 46th season running, running this boat, being in charge of it anyway. Never been sailing without me on board, so I've got, a, I've got sort of a, a, a unique uh, connection with this, with this piece of wood that we're, we're sitting on. But uh, uh, somehow or other, I'm not still quite sure how, how it happens, but it's the, the lifestyle that's generated just by being on board uh, becomes the, the, the significant factor. Since 1964, Shenandoah has been a familiar sight on Martha's Vineyard, offering over 10,000 people the opportunity to learn America's maritime history by living it firsthand. It, it is a unique way for us to understand American history, to learn about history, to learn about a way of life that was so important for this country that is no longer here. That We're on the only vessel of its kind in this country. And the young men that, that crew on this boat, these, these teenage and early 20-somethings, they are living a life that has not been lived for a century or more. And they understand history in a way that uh, can't be taught by a book or, a, or any other way. This is living history. The Shenandoah Foundation was established to help Captain Douglas continue his mission of passing along the maritime history and traditions that are a vital part of the American tapestry. Through the generous support of its donors, the Shenandoah Foundation has been able to present free educational tours and instructional workshops from Captain Douglas and the crew. The Foundation also provides financial support for the popular Kids Cruise program, as well as additional programs for local, regional, and national schools and organizations. This allows the Shenandoah's young passengers to spend a week aboard a sailing classroom from the 19th century. It's just really fun, and you learn a lot of things on this boat. And there are a lot of things you do uh, really unsimilar to the things you would do at every day at your house. We have to wake up every morning to swab the decks. We have to raise the sails and sing shanties. There's a lot of stuff you learn every day. The kids have been learning about everything about the boats, everything about the sails, the masts, the anchors, um, about the elements, about the winds, how to find the winds, about the tides outside what coordinates had to go together in order to make it a right day for sailing. Out of us one? Good job. They'll have galley duty, either breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and then it will rotate. Um, they do journal writing every day, they, so they write in their journals um, significant things that they've done or learned that day. 
they write messages in the bottle that they throw overboard and those bottles have been found um, by different people in different places who have written back and had correspondence. We'll read um, a novel, The True Confessions of Charlotte Doyle, and we'll do a book report on it. But Charlotte is the main character of this book and she's on a, a topsail schooner, just like the Shenandoah, so the kids get to make um, correlations between the main characters making a transatlantic crossing and they get to experience it firsthand on the boat. The uh, captain speaks with them every night after dinner and after breakfast and gives them some history uh, about um, the area, maritime history. To some extent it's a, it's a camp experience. Uh, except that you don't don't go anywhere but stay on the boat. The boat's the one that goes places. Uh, it's not a it's not a high pressure learning environment, but uh, we, we set up every day a certain amount of things to uh, teach teach the kids whether they be parts of the rigging, the rigging ties on the boat for you know, the uh, laying pins and cleats, uh, showing them charts, how to read a chart, uh, showing them how to tie knots, how to, how to splice a line. Swimming is always a big, a big high point on the side of the boat. We're learning what sailors live like and all different kinds of knots and raise the anchor and hold up the sails. It seems pretty hard now that you think about it. Fun stuff like that. And it was really fun today. It was like we did a lot of stuff. And the day's still not over. Uh, I started as a camper um, at age 11, came out and at uh, the end of the week I went up to Captain Douglas and as a little 11 year old kid gave him a big hug around the waist and with tears streaming down my cheeks told him it was the best week of my life, um, which is still pretty much true every week out here. Your generous support of the Shenandoah Foundation will help ensure the future of this remarkable vessel and its mission to provide a living working history of the age when men sailed the globe on the power of the wind alone. For more information about Shenandoah, or to find out how you can help the Shenandoah Foundation in its mission, please contact Captain Morgan Douglas at 508-693-1699. Or give us a visit at www.shenandoahfoundation.org.